Hello, so today we are looking at the uh, uh, Nisus scan, uh, Nisus Essentials scanner, and um, what I want to do is scan uh, Windows 10. This scan is going to be uh, scanning on, for the Docker image on Compot. I want to try to find uh, the vulnerabilities that are on the Compot, so it'd be HoneyNet slash compot colon latest let that run and uh, the type of scan that i'm going to run for nisus is a basic network scan uh first and maybe uh, later i'll try advanced and maybe even the web application tests on but for now i'll focus on basic and for my IP on Windows host, it will be uh, 192.168.1, no, dot, dot 27, so it's this one. Okay, looks like I'm back. I had to clear cache for whatever reason. I think because my previous install of Nisus was um, having some problems, but uh, if you go to settings and about preferences and then search for cache, you just go manage data and then search for local host. And it should be here. So you would select local host and remove selected and it's done. And then we reload our Nisus again. Okay, to provide a little bit of an update, it's still scanning. I did find one vulnerability, but it doesn't look like it's for specifically because of the um, um, compot. So I'll continue letting this uh, scan run until it's finished. Okay, so it looks like I have a little bit of an update to provide. Um, before when I was running these Nmap scans, I actually didn't get these logs before. Now I'm getting connections for Modbus. And if Modbus is 5020 port, then that's possibly the reason why. So this is good news. Okay, so I'm providing a little bit of an update. So the compot phone scan is finished. Took a bit over an hour. And they did find a couple of vulnerabilities, which is good news. So one is called Dameware Mini Remote Control, our remote control pre authentication remote overflow. Another one is Clank 2, the virus detection, and Semantic. And the one I want to look at is fake low net bus. So I think this is something relative to um, our mod bus server. I'm not 100% sure, but it does look to be like it. Um, but let's take a look at each of these. And this is mini remote control uh, affected by buffer overflow vulnerability. And, and there's an exploit available. so exploitable with exploit hub and core impact so i'll have to take a look at both of those and for the next one it's crank 2 but i think this is perhaps a this is probably from one of my previous uh, network tests but i'm not sure 
um, but this is like executable on the system and technically this one doesn't require uh, exploits so I don't think I'll take a look at this one and the last one Symantec PC you know we're running on it or installed and remote host is no longer supported yeah, there's no exploit for this other than it is vulnerable to it. And then that bus. Oh, this is the other one also. An exploit available, true. No exploit is required for this. Yeah, fake ball, and then it says funnel. Yeah, so the only one I'll take a look at right now is Netbus. Because there is an exploit available, and. Yeah. Also, over on our Windows machine, we have uh, only these like connections from Modbus. But yeah, Honeybot has been logging up the whole process for this scan from our Kali VM. And what I'll do is save this output from here and try another scan. But this time I will only be testing on the port numbers that the uh, conbot is the conpot is running on. So like for example 520, I mean 50, 20, 1, 10, 21, uh, 8, 8800, 16, 100, 47, 808, and then 6, 23, 0, and 4, 4, 8, 1, 8. And also these last two, so it's two one two one and six nine six nine. So I did want to go into explaining what the, what all these logs mean. So you have your date and, uh, and the number, the number starting like with the first scan result. Um, and then the dates and time. And then we also have, I don't know exactly what these numbers are, but this could be UTC time. Uh, and then we have our source and IP, um, source and destination IP addresses. So the source would be 192.168.1.26 and uh, destination would be the Windows box. So 192.168.1.27 and um, we have also the type of protocol scan so like tcp would be uh for transmission control protocol and udp user datagram um protocol and rx is receiving data and dx would be but i don't know exactly what these uh hashes are or I'm not sure. It could be just something else, but I'm not sure right now. And but other than that, like uh, what I'll probably try to do is rerun these um uh, this NISA scan, but only for the specific port numbers that are uh, used by Conpot. So until then, thank you for watching.